and then dip in the hole. Oh no, it all fell apart. Oh, dude. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just for you. I am in the cold but sunny town of Alcona, Ontario, Canada. I am at the Harvey Slash Swiss Chalet to do a festive meal just for you and just for me. And I uh, got this in the mail and that's what triggered me plus a bunch of you guys on my social media said that uh, Swiss Chalet always, always has a, uh, a meal, a festive meal. Hi, I'd like to try that uh, festive meal. Dark? Uh, let's go dark. Let's try. Uh, yes, please. Anything else? Uh, I'll do a Pepsi with that. Okay. And I think that's. Oh, do you guys have what uh, choice of chocolate do you have today? Uh, the chocolate you just get like the Lenore chocolate. Okay. There's no. You don't get a choice. No. Okay. I'll so do it's it. Gonna, so it's gonna be sixteen ninety five. Thank you. All right, guys. Sixteen ninety five. It says on here you get a choice of up to five different flavors of chocolate. Lindor chocolate, one of the best holiday treats. Where does it say that? Actually, I misread that. It says your choice of side uh, and five chocolate truffles. So it looks like we're gonna get five truffles. Uh, I thought we we're only gonna get one and you get a choice of five. My mistake. All right, guys, we are next. He's a, I love the hockey stick, that's great. Oh, thanks. Fantastic, thank you. Sir. All right, people, let's park it. All right, guys, we are parked. Let's go to the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? Where is your favorite place every year to go to to grab a festive meal? Swish LA is definitely one of my favorites every single year. Well, let's get this off there as quickly as possible. So we have five Lindor chocolates in here, can't wait for that. I think last time I did something at Swiss Chalet, it was for the Canadian Thanksgiving and I almost forgot to eat my dessert. All right, so we have cranberry. I think it's an extra dollar eighty, dollar eighty for the white meat dinner. So I prefer dark meat over the white meat. There's our huge Swiss Chalet bag. Of course, I have my own cold forged knife and fork set that we'll be using today. I think I'm only gonna need the fork. And we'll put that there. Fork is ready to go, it's in the fork spot. All right, let's open it up and take a peek. But first, let's wash our hands. Gotta get the Purell out. It's in my cup holder, it's a great spot. Oh yeah, lather it on people. Lather it on. All clean and safe, let's eat. All right, people going in for the extreme close-up of this festive chicken dinner. Over here we got our drink. I went with Pepsi. Then we got our Lindor chocolates. I'm hoping they're all, oh, it is assortment, right? Assorted chocolates. Ooh, can't wait to eat that. Over here we got our stuffing right on top of that beautiful chicken down there. And over here we got our fries, golden brown. We've got our bun. We got our cranberry sauce, our whipped butter. And over here we've got the famous Swiss Chalet dipping sauce. Dip your fries, dip your chicken, dip anything you like. Ooh la la. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. First up, let's have a sip of our Pepsi. Show the logo, paper straw. Where to go, Harvey's Swiss Chalet. Yeah, so in Canada, the company Harvey's and the company Swiss Chalet have teamed up and a lot of their locations are both restaurants in the same, so they cross-pollinate cups and uh, containers. All right, so we got our, our fork. Uh, let's do a couple fries first, straight up fry. Mm-hmm. Not a traditional Christmas holiday type side, but <laughs> that's what I wanted. Get out some butter. I like putting it on the outside. Just, just smear it on. Do whatever you like. It's my meal, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Soft and fresh, warm. 
I'm glad I didn't get this to go because it tastes great when it's all nice and warm, steamy. Mmm. See that bun test? Look at that. It bounces back. Let me know if you work for Swiss Chalet. Do they make their buns in house or do they have them shipped in frozen? All right, let's go in for a little bit of this stuffing. Let's see, pull it. Looks like a little bit of carrot. Of course, you have bread. Oh, I don't know what. Is that a noodle? I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a, it looked like a noodle, didn't it? Oh, look at that. I'm not sure if we're gonna dip that or just eat it straight. Let's eat it straight up and then we'll dip it. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Whatever you celebrate this time of year, have a safe and wonderful time. Mm-hmm. I celebrate Christmas. Let us know in the comments below what you celebrate this time of year. All right, I think I'm gonna dip this, see what it tastes like. I don't think I've ever done that before. Oh, <laughs> that's why I don't do that. This falls apart into the sauce. Their sauce is very uh, undescribable. It's like a smoky, it's like a smoky tomato barbecue sauce, I guess. I don't know how, you, how you'd explain the flavor of that. A lot of people dip their fries in it. I know people who will drink it when everybody's finished their meal and there's sauce left over and you're eating in the restaurant back in the day. <laughs> and people would say, are you finished with that sauce? Uh, yeah. Drink. Way to go. Nice. You know who you are. All right. A little bit more of that on there. I have to finish this bun before it gets cold. Mmm. That is so good. So again, leave a comment in the comments below. Do you like dark meat and you want to save a dollar eighty, or do you not mind spending the extra dollar eighty to get the white meat, or are you a strictly white meat person altogether, no matter what, no matter if it costs more or less? I prefer the dark meat. A huge clump of stuffing. It's not bad. There's onions, little crispy onions in there. I'm gonna try a little bit of uh, this uh, cranberry sauce with the next bunch of stuffing here. There we go, stuffing and cranberry. Not bad. So it looks like when they gave me the dark meat, it was a uh, leg, like a, I guess it's like a quarter chicken dinner. Let me just try to pick that up for you. There we go. Here we go. It is so tender. It is like falling apart off the back. I can just pull that and all the meat will just start pulling off the bone. Oh my goodness. I have to go in quickly, man. Check that out. Mmm. Swiss Chalet rotisserie chicken is fantastic. You get a chance to come up to Canada come over to Canada, you gotta check out Swiss Chalet, try, try their chicken for the first time. If you live in Canada, chances are you've had it. Once again, let me know if you've never eaten there and you've lived in Canada your whole life. Oh, look at that leg. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Bones are just falling off. Nice. All right, let's get that piece of meat off there. I'm gonna do a piece of meat and a fry and we'll dip it in that sauce. Oh yeah. Nice and tender dark meat and a couple fries this time. Hopefully it stays on my fork. We're gonna go in, dip it, submerge. Oh, look at all those spices on there. <gasps> what a thing of beauty, isn't it? Let's keep eating. Mm-hmm. Let's get a big chunk of meat We'll dip it in our cranberry. There we go, all dipped. Cranberry and turkey definitely tastes better than cranberry and chicken. Again, love their fries, man. Love their fries. Again, every once in a while I have to dip them. To get that famous flavor that Swiss Chalet is most noted for. Look how easily that meat 
falls off the bone. Oh yeah, here's a here's a nice big chunk of chicken skin dip eat. Mm -hmm. That is really hitting the spot, people. It really is doing a great job. I haven't tried the uh, the stuffing and the chicken. I'm gonna clean this bone off. All deboned, stuffing, chicken, dipping. Oh, can we get some cranberry on there too? I'm gonna have to use a fry. I didn't take out my, my fork. There we go, a little bit of cranberry and the fry. You gotta do everything, right? <laughs> that was a good combination. I enjoyed that thoroughly. I do love Swiss Chalet. It's so nice to have at this time of year when it's freezing out and they come up with this festive stuff. It is fantastic. More juicy, tender meat and all sauced up. That's sometimes an easier way of getting all the pieces in in one shot. Oh yeah, here we go. Once again, meat, stuffing. I'm gonna try and go into the cranberry first. Oh yeah, lots of cranberry. I'm trying to eat everything and then dip in the whole, oh no, it all fell apart. Oh, dude. Look at that, come on, you got... Mm -hmm. One little clump of uh, cranberry fell out into my sauce. This is a fantastic meal. I highly recommend it. Look at that, skin, fry. Let's see if we can lose some in our sauce, why not? We're gonna eat everything anyway. I just came off a 40 hour fast. Maybe more, I can't remember. So having <clears throat> a festive feast to break my fast at Swiss Chalet is wonderful. I highly recommend it. Almost done all my sauce. Definitely have finished all my chicken. Looks like once again, I'm gonna get the clean plate award. When you haven't eaten for 40 hours, you're always gonna get a clean plate of work. Last bit of sauce, last couple of fries. Okay, all done. As you can see, Ken Domic from KBD Productions TV once again gets the clean plate award. All my sauces are done. Chicken is ravished, torn apart, eaten, digested. And my fries are gonzoed. All right, there's still room for dessert. Let's do it. I forgot to mention on the Lindor box, they've taped a coupon on here, $10 off your next order over $40. So that is an extra bonus. They get you back in the store, but hey, you save 10 bucks if you love the Swiss Chalet food. There's some more information on there if you want to uh, check that out. Pause the video, check out the rest of this information right there. But let's open up this box, if we can. All right, I'm so glad we get a selection as opposed to one, and then them choosing which one they're gonna give you. There is your five assorted Lindor chocolates. This is like the traditional one, your typical uh, chocolate with a soft chocolate on the inside. And then we've got to eat them all. What do you think? They gave me two. Oh, this one's gold. This one's like a shiny gold. This one's like a dull gold. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go with the original. Let's have a sip first. Once again, cheers, guys. Happy holidays to you. Be safe. Be kind to everyone. There you go. Lindor is a round ball of chocolate. And inside is a soft, almost kind of like Nutella center. Mm hmm I ate the whole thing. It came out when we shot. When they're a little bit cold, 
kind of uh, stay together. Usually if they're inside, room temperature, the center is a little more creamier. But because it's cold in the car. I think this one's a dark chocolate. It says 60% cocoa. Well, that one's hazelnut. Some of them you can read properly. Some of them are difficult to read. So this one looks like dark chocolate. So as you can see, there is a hard shell chocolatey outside. And on the inside is that soft gooey chocolate. That is a highly recommended chocolate right there. I think this is one of my favorites. I have to keep trying more, but I think I love the dark chocolate. Let's just keep eating. Dark chocolate down the hatch. All right, three left. Jingle bells, jingle bells. This one, does it say? This one says hazelnut, I believe. So uh, you can actually tell on the outside, there's little bits of hazelnut inside the exterior chocolate shell. Mmm. Because it's hazelnut, it tastes more like the uh, Nutella. That's a good one too. You gotta eat all of it. A quick sip to cleanse the palate before we eat our last two. We're gonna go for the darker gold. Let's see what this one is. Again, I can't read what's on there. Sometimes they're easy to read, sometimes you, there's nothing on it. So you just gotta bite it and hope for the best. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Mmm. Check this one out. It's got like a vanilla and chocolate, very soft center. And that one was pretty good too. You can really taste that vanilla chocolate. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm liking all of them so far. Eat it. <laughs> How can you miss that mouth? Last but not least, the shinier gold, more like a yellowy gold. And again, there's nothing on there explaining what it is. So this guy, oh, it's the white chocolate one. Nice. Ending it off with the white chocolate. Oh, it looks like the Death Star, doesn't it? Once again, white chocolate, hard exterior shell. Gooey center. Again, it's like the consistency of Nutella. That's the kind of spread, I guess you could call it. It's almost creamy like butter. And that's another one I like. And once again, have a wonderful and safe holiday. Cheers. If you're in the holiday mood and you feel like something festive to eat, head on over to Swiss Chalet, grab their festive meal, get those Lindor chocolates, keep them all to yourself, enjoy them as much as I did. Let me know if you've had it already. Let me know if you're gonna go and try it and we'll talk to you again in the next video. If you enjoy my videos and you wanna show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out that wicked playlist right over there and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.